What's up, guys? Desert B here, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. We've got two choices here. We could go see Agent Ross, or we could go see that doctor. I guess I'm going to see Agent Ross. I don't really remember what exactly we're doing. I mean, I... What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informer just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. Oh. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fella? This way. I remember what we're doing. I just don't remember what these quests are going to be, basically. It's been a while since Let's I played get up on the roof. this game. We'll have a clear shot at them from there. I thought you couldn't do this quest until you did the quest with the doctor. Oh well, so we'll see what's going on here. Ooh, do I get a new gun or what is this? Oh, just some sniper rifle ammo. Holy smokes! and out of the building. So cover it tight. You see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitched them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Should we tell those Keep civilians your to move? on that bank door. <laughs> it's just like really people out off. here. Don't Who's shoot talking? Till I give you the signal. Someone's coming out. He's unarmed. Hold your fire. Oh no, it's the banker. The oh gosh. Oh, I missed. Ah. Wait, stop running, guys. In the windows. There's another runner. Oh. In the windows. Where? Here's one. I missed again. Alright, alright. Let me just heal. I don't see anybody else. Oh, here's one. Ooh. I am! Ah, missed that guy. Oh, and that guy. I guess I'll wait for him to, yeah, stand up. Quick, they're, running out the door. Kill them. they're not going far. Oh, somebody got that guy. I thought their horses were all on the left. Here we go. Get the man out the window. Gotta get the runners before they get too far away. Windows look clear to me. Who else is shooting? Got some making a break for it. Get them. <sighs> I don't see anybody making a break for it. Who? I don't even see anybody in a window. I just see a mark on the map. These guys are just shooting at anything. Why aren't you shooting? Because I don't Get see anybody. Who? Where? George Washington? I literally don't see anybody. Making a break for it. Let me go over here. Ah, here they are. They're like in the windows. They're making a break for it. And they're literally just nowhere, but they're, they're right here. Marston, head into the bank with Hopkins and Manny. Get Dutch. Hopkins? Be careful. There may be some innocent people there. I don't think Dutch is there. Highly doubt. We can take them. <laughs> okay. What do we now have equipped? Winchester repeater. That's fine. Although I did really like that bolt action. Yeah, let's do this one. Uh, Marshall, what am I? And I'm going in the front door? Oh, shoot the door open. Okie dokie. How about a shotgun? Get us through that door. There we go. Let's go. Oh, wrong gun. Ah. Oh, Lord. Jeez. Oh, wrong gun. Ow. Gotta get this guy. Because he's really damaging me. Oh, there's a banker back here. Um, gosh, we gotta save this poor banker. 
the one that's got his hands up is definitely not gonna be... Okay, maybe I need to go in. I'll try to save this poor hostage. Oh, no! Okay. There we go. Yeah, head to the town hall. Wow, there's a bunch in here. Look for Dutch upstairs. Okay, this is my friend. Move, friend. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to share a space here with this guy. Oh my gosh, wait. Uh, can I heal? <gasps> Why do I never have medicine? What is wrong with me? I'm gonna get shot. Oh, jeez. Okay. One more. Oh, okay. Am I the only one that can break a door down or what? Oh, it is Dutch. you, John. Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. Ain't seen her for a while. Because you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No, he must be what? 15? 16? Doesn't time fly? <laughs> Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint. But equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch. By making compromises, we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. Oh, jeez. Oh, God damn. Jeez, Dutch. I don't see him. What the hell happened in there? This is your fault, Marston. You it got absolutely is sure. not. You waited too long. Next time, I'll just shoot the girl. That's enough. Come on, let's find the bastard. And yeah, how could they have gotten away so fast? It was seconds. Ah, let's go. Also, Dutch, he definitely is not the person that at least they say that he was before. Because, you know, they say that he wouldn't have done something like that before. Let's just say Dutch ain't gone and got himself saved. Killed some poor woman. There's an old logging camp further down this road. It's been abandoned for years. My guess is that's where they're headed. Come on, follow me. And he kidnapped the banker, right? I think that's what they just said. I guess so. Has he changed? No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? Hug on your heartstrings? He kind of reminds me of you. Violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. Isn't that sweet of you? <laughs> now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah! I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. I think that must be the Edgar Ross guy talking. Who the hell are you fellas anyway? Bombman or army? We are neither, Mr. Marston. But I have the authority over both. You bastards can't ever give a straight answer, can you? Uh-oh, what's this? Look, that's Dutch's car. Hurry. Oh, wow. Have got far. Only car on the road and he ended up in a fiery crash? I mean, how do you manage that? Why are these guys leaving me behind? Oh, 
Woo! Wait, leave the horses. Oh, Lord. Oh, wait, uh, guys, we're in kind of a bad place because there's people all around. I don't even know what to do. There's my reticule. Oh, shoot. Hi! Okay, hide, John. Hide on this side of the tree. <laughs> uh. Here we go. There's somebody behind this rock. Let's wait for them to poke their heads up. Here we go, here we go. It'd be who's shooting me? Dutch has himself uh, an entirely new gang, apparently. There's so many people with him. There's somebody right behind this rock. Well, I'm not gonna just stand here all day and wait for these people to poke their heads out. Bear claw camp. Whoa! What happened to the maps? Look at how many there are. Bear claw camp. There's so many. Where are they all? In this house? Well, here's one. Here's one. Here's two. Okay, we're clearing them out. Okay, duck, John. One more. Where are ya? Behind this tree? Oh, behind this rock. <laughs> what was that noise? Meet the agents at the cabin. Wow, look at this place. It's trashed. Well, so much for that. There's Dutch, Marston. He got away. Uh, scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him. Don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably get a medal. I know I shall. <laughs> Funny. Funny he should say that. Okay. Most likely, yeah, it looks like we can go meet with the doctor now at this point. Let me just see if there's any ammo. All of my repeater ammo is always full. Let's check the map. Yeah, nothing else new. Oh, there's the I know you guy. And then we still have to go give those blackmail photos to this person. Um, actually, let's see what the I know you guy wants because he's kind of right here in between. I did do a little bit of hunting. Oh, and that reminds me, we should go to the um, shopping center in Blackwater because there is a gun there that I want to buy. But I did just kind of do a little bit of hunting. Um on the side because we're in a new place and I wanted to go see what kind of new animals and stuff there were. But I got some elk and I even hunted a couple of bears, kind of by accident. But um, their pelts and stuff sell for a lot of money. I don't, I'm gonna compare. I'm, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure that I was able to sell their pelts for um, $37, I think, in Mexico. So I want to see... Oh, here he is. This is my... Pro this is my property! What's he doing here at my house? This is... Here, let's look over here and look. This is literally John's place, Beecher's Hope. This is his barn. There's his cabin that we got to see them build in um, Red Dead Redemption 2 and the silo and stuff. So, I mean, we can't really go and do anything there yet because... We have to wait for the quest hey, to open. Spot. Sure. What are you doing here? John just My says accounts. sure. I'm an accountant. Like he doesn't own the place? Is that so? In a way. What's your name? You know, it's the darndest thing. I can't remember. 
Tell me your damn name and where you know me from. Well, I know you're from Mexico, I know you're from back out west. Oh, I know you from all over. Tell me your name or I won't be responsible for my actions. Oh, but you will. You will be responsible. This is a fine spot. See you around, cowboy. That's it? Damn you! Yes, many have. <laughs> What? It didn't work? Like, I know you complete. Oh. Oh, I don't remember. Okay. I don't remember that part where he just basically, like, won't be shot. Ooh, that was creepy. That kind of makes the whole creepy situation in Red Dead Redemption 2 a little bit creepier. Honestly, that was very strange. But what a beautiful property! Let's see. Okay, next stop, let's go back to town. Oh look, John needs to fix his fence. Back to town. We can probably do this lobbyist thing real quick and then let's hit some of these shops. I definitely want to go to the gunsmith. Um, and then let's get medicine too, because I don't know why I've never got medicine. Let's go. And stock up, and there's like some kind of a, a big new gun that we can buy that I really want to get. Especially if I'm going to be doing some bear hunting. Um, those bears are pretty terrifying actually. Um, I bought, I actually bought this gun. I don't remember what it was called now, but I actually did buy it. And I went out hunting... Not trying to hunt bears, I was just trying to hunt elk or something, maybe anything with horns. And, um, I was just minding my business, uh, skinning an animal, and then when I stood up, there was a bear on top of me. And then I died, and I lost my gun, and I lost all the pelts that I had gotten. Oh, and I'm famous, by the way, now. Um, so... Um, everybody in town kind of recognizes me. Everybody's saying my name as I pass, so it's kind of weird, actually. Here's the gunsmith. Welcome to the store. Hey, partner. Okay. Bait. Oh, I might want this too. Let's see what all we can afford. Oh, this was it. Carcano. Carcano, whatever. Bolt action rifle with a telescopic sight. Powerful and precise. Holds a few rounds in the magazine. So, wants. What's this? Evan's repeater. Someone has been attending the beds of many Very high capacity repeating rifle, though only medium powered. I don't know about that. I don't even use the other repeaters that I have. Oh, explosive. This is oh, 5,000. Experimental large caliber rifle designed to destroy vehicles. Oh, yeah. I remember telling myself now that I need to get $5,000 <laughs> because I want that. And then, should I buy this? They say Blackwater City Hall is a den of thieves. Some very powerful ammunition. Hmm, okay, let's get that too. Shotgun, rifle. Guess I can't buy any of this ammo. Maxed out on all of those. Okay. Yeah, that is what I want. Um, let's find the doctor. I did go to the tailor. Is that what this is? Yeah, the tailor. And I couldn't do anything. There was like a piece of cloth or something that I could buy. And I was kind of like, why would I want that? So, um, I don't really know what else you can do there. But I currently can't do anything there. Yeah, see, everybody that I pass is saying my name. It's so weird. Let's... See, famous John Marston. Let's go stock up on some medicine. Just give me all of it. That won't cure typhoid if you have it. Okay. That'll do me. I think we're probably good now. Good to go see the doctor. Oh, let's do the lobbyist thing first, though. American lobbyist. We'll just go do some blackmail real quick. No big deal. Ah! Mo! 
old lady! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, lady. Where's this guy? Inside the building, it appears. Use wanted posters. You know, I don't know that we've done a single bounty hunt. Yeah, I am looking for you, actually. Hey there, fella. What do you think of our governor, Nate Johns? Nate Johns? Why, that no good lying backstabbing bastard, I'd like to see him horse whipped. <laughs> Why you ask, friend? Need to make sure I had the right man. Would you care to take a quick look at a couple photographs of you coming out of a fine place of not much repute? What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, as I was saying uh, before I was so rudely interrupted, Nate Johns is a fine, fine man and an even better governor. And I consider it an honor to call him my friend. <laughs> Wise man. He was going to be the competition, wasn't he? Wasn't he going to run for governor too? I don't remember. Poor guy. Return to the blackmailer for your reward. That's a window, not a door. All right, well. We're watching you. Don't do that. Um, okay, our guy's just right... Oh, in the gazebo. Alright. The deed is done. Speak to me. Ooh. That'll go toward our savings for the explosive rifle. <laughs> I possibly will end up wanting to buy a horse too, which I think the ones that I, the one that I would want is like seven hundred dollars. But I don't know. I might wait and try to see if I can get that rifle first because that thing looks, um, pretty useful, especially for bear hunting. I can't wait to see how it works. Anyways, um, so this will be our next main quest. But let me. I need to take a break for just a second and go feed my dogs. So uh, we'll start this in just a moment. Okay, we're back, and let's go ahead and do this main quest. Oh, doggy. Bye. At home with Dutch. Oh, incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Uh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day, good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. <laughs> With these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. Ah, <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes. A white man, obviously, but 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 with a savage spirit. Uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Oh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same? They're exactly the same. <laughs> it's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. Remarkable. The sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe Whoa. of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Jeez, Not right Louise. No. Cherry so needles? It's a remarkable drug. It entirely restores Whoa. the ego. It, it takes one back to a primal state. It helps my thinking enormously. I'd be nervous oh, with that needle so Nastasa, close. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know. We cannot see the stars, but still my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. Guaranteed. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. No, Guaranteed he sir, speaks English. I grew up on a reservation and <laughs> attended school. Oh, 
Lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. What an idiot. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding. Both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills. In Cochinay. Let's go. Cochinay. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. The doctor's coming? Did he actually take the cocaine or not? Hello, sir. Time to do our bit for humanity, Mr. Marston. I'm very surprised that the doctor's coming. Follow me. Or I keep calling him yeah. doctor, but maybe I actually mean professor. I don't really know what he is. So, I understand we have a mutual interest. Whoa, in I think I've already run this lady over you once. <laughs> Kill him? Good God, no. What is it with you people out here? No, Vandalin fascinates me. A white man living among natives. A civilized mind yeah. turned savage. It's reverse integration or regressive acculturation. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. <sighs> Anyway, yes, uh, some kind of Robin Hood, Oedipus, communist tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang together, Professor. I wouldn't try to read too much into it. It's my job to read too much into everything, dear boy. Look, Mr. Marston, buffalo. Where? Oh, what a noble beast. I see it. The Where? Man will oh. will soon be the end of them. What on earth are you talking about, Nastas? Too much hunting, sir. Your whole society is based around hunting. But we hunt to eat, not for sport. Soon, there will be no buffalo left. Who teaches you this nonsense? Extinction is a myth refuted by Darwin. Species don't die, they evolve. Hunting in time will make the buffalo stronger. <laughs> okay. It's funny because I think there's actually an achievement that you can get for hunting the last buffalo. Are you sure this is the right way? Yes, sir. It's rather dark. Ain't you never seen trees before? I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. It's this way, mister. Whoa. Good lord, no. I rarely leave my room. I explore with the mind, Mr. Master. Enjoy it while you still can. Soon you will have cut down all of these trees. Me? Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white man in general? There is no respect for the land anymore. I'm sensing some hostility, Nastas. Some anger. Talk me to <gasps> A bear! Where it's coming from. Don't worry about it, Professor. I'm about to get my Carcano rifle out. Take that bear out. Another two more bears. The horses are freaking out. Oh, is this the all black horse? I think it is. I might have to come back and get that. Come on. I don't know why we're going out here alone. The we'll leave the horses here and climb the rest of the way. Okay. Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I've got work to do. Thanks for the help. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. He rode all the way out here, all the way out here, just to go all the way back. I hope Nastas doesn't end up dying at the end of this. Everybody who's ever been like decent to us and helped us out, I feel like is dying. Well, that's not true, really. Just Louisa. I guess all the people in the very beginning are probably still alive. But this is a pretty likable character, and I don't want anything to happen to him. Well, let's go, John. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, jeez. Damn. 
Well, that's unfortunate. See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. Just use the rope that's on your hip. Come on, John. John's not exactly an acrobat either. Climbing with him's not um not exactly the easiest. Do a little ledge crawl here. I'm sure climbing in cowboy boots and spurs isn't exactly the it's not exactly the best attire. Ah, no, no, no. Oh. Um, eh, this looks like the route, probably. All of a sudden, we're in snow! This is, I think, the first time that we've seen snow. Here we go. What's that? Oh, look! Did Nostas be upset? I'm not hunting for food. I'm hunting for money! Wow! Blew it out of existence. Great. Never mind then. I think there's a path through this cave. That owl um, sounds very close. I don't know if that's because there's an owl that is close or if that's just the background noise. Oh gosh. A mine. Yes, look at this. A mine shaft. Not my favorite thing in the world. I don't think in real life I could ever get myself to go into one of these. I think I'd be too claustrophobic. Unless it was Nicote Rock. Unless it was like a guided tour type thing where you know for sure that it's perfectly safe. Like I went into, um, you know, kind of like Carlsbad Caverns, like a big cake cavern like that. And I was a bit claustrophobic for like the first 10 minutes or so that we were in there, but then kind of got used to it. But it's this kind of way. weird and disorienting. Like I was, um, I really had to remind myself like, first of all, that all I had to do is breathe. And second of all, I could leave at any time I wanted to. Holy smokes. The psycho. That looks like the Murphy brood from, oh no. From um, Red Dead 2. Nastas, where are you? Oh, there he is. Ah! Oh, jeez. Run. <laughs> oh wait, are we back out? We're back out at the entrance now. Oh my gosh, this looks just like the Murphy brood. Take out the miners. Where's the other one? Spooky. Are you hurt? Just your arm. I'm hurt pretty bad. I don't think you should go any further. I'll be fine. But you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. Are you sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up or see you on the way down. Okay. Don't worry about me. Go look for Vanderlyn. Good wow, luck. I guess I didn't realize that we were going after Vanderland right now. This is broken, so climb the rest of the away. cliff. I remember being a little bit lost here. Um, but, oh, here we go. Ah, here we go. Um, let's see if this. Aha! A skunk. You know what? I saw an, a, a live skunk for the first time in my life this weekend. It was just on the side of the road, like, walking around. But I've never seen one that was alive. That was a bear. I don't... <gasps> Where's that coming from? <gasps> go, John, go! It's right behind us. Something sounds, like, really close. <laughs> or maybe it's up. It's up. That's up there. Somewhere, I hear it. Okay, wait, let's get equipped here. Carcano rifle. Now, it does have a scope, so it's not exactly ideal for close range. But let's see. There it is. Oh, God. Uh, where is it at? Lord, have mercy. I can't see anything! 
Ah, look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. One hit. Wow, he was eating a mountain goat. Wow, that was awesome. That was good thing I heard him. And let's take the... It was a big horn. Let's take the bear meat, too. Because these pelts are worth, like, $37. Tough one, ain't you? Woohoo! Our first bear! On screen. Grizzly furs, plus one. Um, Up here we go. Cockane. Is that what they called it? Pretty sure. Oh, look. There's my marker. I was trying not to lose your footing, John. Another dead... Um, Bighorn? Is that what this was? Jeez! <gasps> um... Uh, wait, wait. Jeez. Uh, what the heck? He's dangerous. <laughs> wow. What the heck? That's terrifying. These things are fast and dangerous. I don't know. The bear may be slightly more dangerous. I'm stuck in this. There we go. Let's take the skins, though. The bears seem like they almost can, like, kill you just in, I mean, one or two hits. But the same with these things, too, though. All right. Ups a daisy. Hopefully that was the end of the wildlife out here. Oh! There's a... Well, that's not the owl that I keep hearing. Just some big black birds. I didn't realize that we were coming after Dutch so soon. Oh, an eagle! Hold on. Now I'm not going to like... I just want to see if I can get a good... I can't even tell what I'm looking at. <gasps> Look at that! Oh my gosh, how cool! Wow. Okay, move out of the way. So cool. Moving right along. Oh, is that Nostus? How did he beat us here? Wait, is this? That's not our guy. Neutralize the scout without alerting the fortress. Hmm. So throwing knives it is. Without alerting the fortress. Got him. Get the binoculars. Where have these been all my life? Give me those binocs. Yeah. Scout Cockney with the binoculars while looking for evidence of Dutch. Dutch is going to be in the big house on the hill. Where's that? Goodness. How do I get out of these binoculars? I can't tell what I'm looking at. Um, tents. I thought that was like a house. I can't get out of the binoculars. More tents. Bigger tent. Oh, something's happening. Oh, no. Jeez, Dutch. Well, there he is. Ah! Oh! <laughs> wow, the aim on that man. How did he know? Maybe because we're just standing out in the open like an actual fool? John! Mr. Marston? Oh, no. We're back in town. Mr. Marston. Unbelievable. Mr. Marston. Keep your drugs away from me, man. Here you go, Mr. Marston. 
Put that stuff away. <laughs> you banged your head. Nastas and I carried you down. Mm. Uh, well, uh, Nastas uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters before this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. I'm well, sure it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, you are a very stupid man, mister. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Then again. <clears throat> How? Where did we get shot? Look at that honor bar. Come back between 7 and 10. Okay. Let's see here. The only thing on the map is this guy's quest. Harold McDougal. Um, I thought I did this. Oh, this was the poker thing. Okay, here's what I think should happen. Um, let's go to my room over here, and then, I don't know, I kind of want to go hunt some bears. I think, um, the most fun hunting grounds in this game are right here in the tall trees. Because there's, um, there's elk, and... Um, bears and those bighorn rams. Also, check out my room. My living quarters have greatly improved. I've got a piano, a fireplace that's always lit, and a bed and a sitting area. So, things have improved for me, that's for sure. At one point, all we had to sleep on was Irish's dirty old cot out by the river. I don't even think it was covered. Well, it may have been barely covered by like a cloth. It wasn't even in a, a building. Sorry. I'm in a world of my own. <laughs> I'm in a world of my own. Okay. Horse. Sean Marston. Remember me? Hey. I'm Clyde Beetle. Clyde Beetle? No, I don't remember you. Okay, my favorite hunting grounds are Right out here in the tall trees, more or less where that bear is, but kind of just right out in the middle here. Man Manzanita Post. I remember that being a place in Red Dead Redemption 2, particularly where you could go see a, um, there was a red Siberian husky at Manzanita Post, and I thought it was the cutest. Um, technically Piper is a red Siberian Husky, although she's not as dark red as most red Siberian Huskies. She's very, very light, but I thought that was so cool to find a Siberian Husky in Red Dead Redemption, of all things. Like, so fun. The Great Plains. There's a lot of things that we need to do. In fact, where's the train? Uh, right here. I may go follow the train tracks around because to do some of the um, challenges that I need to get done, I need to shoot like five birds off the back of a train or something like that. So, um, I don't know. Let's go hunt a bear with our new rifle and then maybe we can go jump on the train. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, this right here would be worth a while because it's got horns. Those apparently go for the big bucks here. You know, speaking of the challenges, I'll, let me check on those really quick because I believe journal challenges explosive rifle mastery. What? After oh, so this is a thing. I need five thousand dollars. Tomahawk mastery. Purchase a tomahawk from the store at Manzanita Post. Okay. Um. 
six desert sage, kill five boars and three armadillos. Um, do you think I maybe read this like a long time ago and read it as five bears and not five boars? I've been avoiding this thing because I swear it said five bears. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking we could have done this the whole time. Whoops. Let's go. Five boars and armadillos. Okay, I'll let that one go because there's bigger horned creatures that we can find out here. Whoa. The tall trees. What are these guys running from? Yeah. I love the music out here. It almost sounds a little bit creepy. I think it would make me feel uneasy a little bit. If I were out here in the middle of the trees alone, what's that? A fox. Hold steady. Oh, yeah. This will fetch a good price. Okay. Where's Manzi need a post? Oh, we're right next to it. Um, actually, let's keep going this way and let's go see about getting that tomahawk because that's one of the challenges too. Wait, was it this way? Oops. Somehow I started going the wrong way. Manzanita post. Yeah, check it out. Is the shop closed? Why? Why is it closed? Whoa! Oh my gosh! Jeez! All right, let's get out of here. This place is dangerous. Uh, gosh. Um. Yeah. All right. Let's go find some. Let's go find some bears. Whoa. Gosh, what was all that about? I wonder if I was supposed to have intervened. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Now we're talking. Check it out. <gasps> okay, and there's a bear. Okay. Where'd the bear go? Yeah, here we go. Now, let's see how many shots this takes. Oh, okay. Only two. Not bad. Oh, geez. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. They come out of nowhere, and they're so fast and quiet. Gosh. Okay, let's check the surroundings. Oh, okay. I think we're good. Last still. <laughs> I missed the elk, unfortunately. But um, that's okay. What's that? <gasps> oh, that's a boar. I need that. I need that for the um thing. The challenge. Boar and armadillos. Who's out here shooting? Oh boy, did you hear that? I think that was a bear. The problem is that I'll come out here and I'll do all this hunting, and then while I'm in the middle of hunting, I will be attacked by another animal and die, and then I'll lose everything. Really unfortunate. So after this one, we're going. Get out of here before something happens. Okay, where's my horse? Here we go. Grizzly furs plus one. Perfect. 
See, look at there's an elk and there's another boar. Oh shoot, but the boars, I need them though. These things are pretty mean. Oh, why didn't it shoot? Okay. Checking for bears. I don't see anything. I just want the boar because I know we need those for the challenges. You can find boars over in uh, around like Hennigan Stead ish. What's wrong with my horse? I'm stuck. I am literally stuck in this dead body. Jeez. Okay. Is the post open? Yeah, let's go here. See if we can get the tomahawk. I didn't even know that was a challenge. Something that was necessary. Oh, there's so many boars, but also I'm a little bit worried. I'm carrying a lot of stuff right now and I don't want to risk losing it if a bear does happen to come out of nowhere. So we'll go hunt them somewhere safer. Where's the road in this place? Check it out! It's a reindeer. Let's go. Manzanita post. Here's the general store. Which they look like they're open right now. Hello. Howdy, friend. Just let me know what you need. Tomahawk times 20. What are these like the um why would I want twenty? Two hundred dollars. How about let's get like five? You're all set. Are these maybe a replacement to the knives? Take that. Okay, that's, that's probably good. Tomahawk mastery rank one. There's so many challenges in this, in this game that I didn't even really know existed. So next would be kill an enemy with the tomahawk used as a throwing weapon, one as a melee weapon, and one from horseback. Goodness. Well, they act like I'm gonna run into that many more enemies. Okay, well, wow, I, um... I guess that does it for this episode, guys. We, at least we know where Dutch is. So I think we may be headed off to uh, capture him or whatever, kill him, I guess, really, really soon, possibly in the next main quest. So I guess we'll have to see. But um, I may do a little bit more hunting here and try to get enough money to get that explosive rifle because that sounds awesome. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. I'm Brittany with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to help my channel grow, all you gotta do is hit the like and subscribe buttons below. If you'd like to see your name at the end of every video, please consider joining channel memberships right here on YouTube. Can't wait to see you there.